Hi guys, this is Deb. All right, I'm trying something different with this. Uh, <laughs> my original uh, little tripod, my new camera, but coming from the front view instead because I just filmed a whole process video with it behind, like me doing like this, and it was back here, and all you could see was my hands half the time. So I'm hoping we can get this going a little bit better. I'm experimenting. Anyway, this is my um, first episode of the Friendship and Love Collaboration, which is run by uh elemental designs carmen and mom to create i guess it's mom to create first janet and then elemental designs carmen and our task this week was to make a create a tassel or keychain with any materials we wish to use and so this is our first of one two three four five friendship and love collaboration videos and I will put a link below to uh, mom to create and elemental designs and all the other participants in the collab there are let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine. I think there's nine nine or ten um so this is what I made, and I'll just have to walk you through it while you're looking at it because, like I said, I did a process video. It's horrible, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it up, so I apologize. Um, but really, this from this part on, if you want to see how to make that part, you can go back. I have four um, what well, I call them tutorials, but it's a four part tutorial. They begin with VT. For video tutorial 001 through 004. I believe I have a playlist for it um, called something like tutorials mine or something and there's only those four in it right now. So from here down if you watch those tutorials you'll see basically the same method of making it. The only difference is this time I made a wire wrapped heart out of this um, pink wire. It's 18 gauge fuchsia colored copper wire by Jewelry Maker which is a UK uh, company. They have a website and they have a live show and then you can order from the website or the show whatever and I think I've mentioned before that for like a year, a little over a year, I was totally hooked on them. And I've had to like cold turkey stop because I spent way too much money on jewelry stuff from them in a short period in, in like a year's time. You would not believe. Anyway, um, I also use this um, pink. Is it going to focus? I don't know. Pink colored copper wire. It is 26 gauge uh, or 0.4 millimeter is the way they do it and um, I use that to wrap the glass heart on because it had a hole going from front to back and what I did is I doubled over a piece of that wire I put two you know two ends through and then I looped it back like you would do a uh, what do they call those mm, I don't remember the name of the knot Anyway, um, put it back through the loop in the other end and then I took it and spread it apart and went wrapped around one side this way twice and then the other way twice and then I brought those pieces together and wrapped it up uh, up this pink wire. And um, this heart shape, I just really bent the wire at a, to a point in the middle down there and then I kind of tried to follow the shape of this glass heart which is a faceted heart. Um, and then I just wire wrapped um, it closed. This is from, I want to say Joann's, that I had gotten this at Joann's, but I'm not positive about that. It's the last one I had with a heart on it, a lobster clasp. So I guess this is a keychain, purse charm, not sure. I have a little made with love heart here. This is just a little glass bead and a um, check druk bead. Here I wire wrapped on another druk and this is a um, 
silver color pewter um, little rose charm, rose dangle. Then there's some other pinks, pink beads and things, some of which were gifted to me by um, Christy Barry. Some were from Bargain Bead Box Bargain. No, Bargain Bead Box. Some, these two here, were from Oriental Trading. Uh, this little charm here is from um, Cousin Jewelry Basics. It looks like this. And it was from Joann's. I got it 50% off back in 2016. And let's see what else did I put on. Um, I put on a little heart that was from, oops, that was from Beadalon Heart Charm Heart Charm Kit Silver Plated I had gotten from Jewelry Television back in 2012 when I first started making jewelry. Uh, it was sort of late 2012 and I'm trying to find the bag that has the ones I used in it. And I'm not seeing them now. Hmm. There's some really pretty ones in here. I'll have to... Well, you know what? I bet I didn't put them away yet. Anyway, where they fell out. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. My room is a mess right now. Um, and let's see. Oh, and there's uh, little rose charm drops. Like, I have two of them on there. This one, and there's one over here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um... They were from Cherry Tree Beads in 2016, and I got them online. Um, these pink beads here are um, vintage German glass beads, and they're four-sided ovals, 12 by 5. I got them at Fire Mountain. And the Drooks, the Chuck Drooks, I got at Art Beads. Uh, they look like this. They're little 4 millimeter Drooks. Um, crystal pink pearl coat and they come in a pack of a hundred or they did then anyway and the oriental beads look like this and oriental trading excuse me they came in a pack of 48 pieces and they were fuchsia eight millimeter fuchsia cut glass round and I think most of the other things um, oh, and the little key at the bottom here of the heart, uh, I got at Bead Box Bargains, their sister company to Bargain Bead Box, and um, they were 50 cents for a pack of seven, and I think I got two packs, I think, it looks like it, yeah. Um, and then, let's see, I think... This was from Bargain Bead Box that I had in my personal stash, as was this white one. The crystals most of them used in here had been gifted to me by Christy Barry uh, back at the beginning of uh, 2017. 17, excuse me. This I got off an old bracelet that I found at a yard sale that had snowflakes and things on it. That's the only charm on here that is just hooked on. Oh, here's the heart that was a beetle on heart. But I had to find the rest of them. <laughs> anyway, that's what I did. And when you hold it up, it looks... Oops, that's thing. You can't see it. I'm holding it up now when I have the angle this way. Hmm. Anyway, it looks like that. And it hangs pretty. <laughs> okay, so... That's what I did for my first one. I was hoping to make two, but I was fiddling with the video stuff so long that I just don't have time now to make another one today um, or before this video goes up. So, as I have lots of other projects to get to. So I hope you like hit my first uh, tassel key charm. It's more like a charm keychain. It says create a tassel or a keychain. So I guess I did a keychain. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be talking with you the next time. Bye-bye.